Hey y'all, I'm just going to go through my Loopy Pro template. If anyone's interested in some of the little tricky tricks that I've got going and they want to build their own template. Um, I was going to start from scratch, but now nah, stuff that I'll just run through my template and all these different pages, what they all do. Some do nothing like that one. <laughs> I was probably just trying something. I can't remember. It's been a while since I've sat down with this. I um, Sometimes I before I drive, I quickly write a beat and <laughs> and then just sing as I'm driving it's pretty fun I don't press any buttons while I'm driving no and this is why I've got these headphones MMX Mark II I think they are they are dynamic they're a quite a good headphone for um, quality wise with the microphone and good audio too alright let's get straight into it now I've got my first I usually start with this top one here, this top one here, this top one. And um, before I do that, I'm going to hit this key button. Now, sorry you can't see my fingers do the movements. Um, I couldn't be bothered sitting down at top camera. And by the way, I've got no shirt on because it's bloody hot here in Australia. And we don't have any air conditioning. So, just got to deal with it. Anyway, um, so this page here, I set my key. Now, I will get into fine details of how I do this too, if I can remember. <laughs> so let's just go D. Now, what that does is auto-tune here. It sets, um, let's just edit that and see what that does. Select preset of auto-tune. Select preset D of voice synth and D minor of velocity keyboard. Okay, so now I've got some apps AUV3 plugins that I've added to this template. So um, you may not have these, and if you don't, you should buy them. I'm not sponsored at all, but I just um, these are the best apps that I've found that do certain things for me. Okay, so let's talk about the audio tune first so um, can I hold that down I, I've usually set it up I can hold down that and audio tune is awful um, with the real estate of, of how you actually see it so um, I have I think turned it like sideways and then dragged it out blah 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 and then hit D and then I've gone to save that as D, D minor, because I'm a minor boy. I <laughs> I like writing in minor. That's just how I learnt theory. So then we know that is set, and then also voice in, which is a crazy thing. Can I hold that down as well? And that opens that. That's what that looks like. And again, you'd have to hold it sideways and blah blah blah. But um. I have, if you can see the D selected, I've got that selected and I've saved it as D. So that's why when I hit D, it changes that to D, voice to D, audio tune to D, and also velocity keyboard, which is, it shows up in um, uh, where, where Beat Hawk page. That's where velocity keyboard is. So I can hit. Um, I actually haven't got this set up properly. I'll probably stuff up a bit. Let's let's go to dark pad. Hit it again. Okay. Piano. Yeah, see, I haven't got that fully set up properly. So piano, that, hopefully that's in D minor. And that's not... Okay, so... <laughs> that had to crash. That had to reload. Beathawk I'm using for these sounds. Beathawk I find is really good. Uh, was that called Rompler? Where it uses um, samples. And some of them are velocity sensitive as well. Most of them are when it comes to sounds, but the drums are velocity sensitive as well. So that's like, not many programs can do that. So anyway, now I know I've got piano selected. That is crashing. I probably have to update that. Anyway, so that's... Then get dark, dark pad. And I've actually got it set up in the settings that the 
something does something. Ben, is it bend range? No. Um, y coordinate sending CCT CC10, and I've got that. How did I set that up somehow? I can't remember. Um, I um, probably won't get into that now because it's going to be a long video as it is. But anyway, what it does is like hit A, slide down. That's right. I don't know how it does that. Let's open beat, beat hook for a second. You can't really see it too well. But you can go to MIDI, enable MIDI learn. And then I've got. I remember how I did that. I'm just going to not talk about that now because I can't exactly remember how I set that up. That's another another question, another day. Anyway, because I don't want to get too lost. And so I've got the dark pad and I've got a bass. Nice upright bass sound and drums. Pretty good drum sounds, it's our sad sounds. Boom, boom. Ah, yeah. And ambient, which is the same as the dark pad, but it's but it's closed again. I obviously have to update that. Let's just um, let's see if there is an update, shall we? Sorry to waste your time, but uh, let's just update that, shall we? Now I'm on um, really average internet out here in the middle of nowhere, hooked up to satellites, not Tesla satellites, just the old school, whatever it's called. Mm, see, that's going to take a while. Let's just continue on and let that do in the background. Hope so, hopefully it fixes itself. Eh, sorry, don't know what happened there. Um, Michael Tyson probably does, the maker of this app. But I didn't share it because I'm doing stuff here. I'm trying to make beats here. See, that's, yeah. Let's not talk about Beathawk now until that's loaded. Let's just go back to, um, and while, actually while I'm on that, where I, uh, C, page C. Now you can add new pages by going edit and then that, that little plus button. And that'll add a new page. And then I can probably hold that down and go delete. Go back to edit mode. So non edit. And C. Okay, so um, from A, when I hit key, I've got that set. So let's just look at that. When I press it, it shows page B. Really handy. Okay, so, and I've got the beat, beat uh, hawk. To show page C and then also it opens velocity keyboard and drums press what does that do I don't know <laughs> sorry my bad <laughs> I'll try to continue but anyway, so it opens Velocity Keyboard, so then when I press page A, it actually closes that as well. So you can set up, and it's just so customizable to to work how you want it to work. And I'm just going to have a little sip of beer. Cheers. Happy New Year's to you. So, um, let's just have a quick demo to show that in action, how I can quickly get a beat um, okay so I'll get a beat like that oops let's clear all a quick drum beat and then so when I hit the hi-hat what that does is what does it do follow actions um, I've got enable voice rack that, that uh, what does that do 
It's like a, a widener, I think. Yeah. And then en enable voice synth as well. So what that sounds like... Clear all that. So that's that's a cool way of thing. So follow actions, very handy. Got to get good at and used to follow actions. They can do so many different things. So when um, when it ends recording, it turns off those said things, which is very handy. So you don't have to do heaps of stuff with your mind and your fingers. Just write beats quick. Now bass, I've got. Let's just change that to two bars. And what that does in follow actions is enable tone stack pro. It reverb value. It probably ch takes the reverb off. Value change would be off just in case I had the reverb going because you don't want reverb over your bass. And also turns the delay off. And then when it finishes the recorded, it turns this said app off. Now, just so you can have a look at that app. Um, how do I access it? Access that again to the mixer in Tone Stack Pro. So I've got an Octaveva. <laughs> Octaveva. Me and words don't get along sometimes. A octave, basically an octave, octave pedal with uh, a bit of tremolo. And I've obviously taken, if you look at the EQ, I've taken all the high ends out and just left the low ends. It's an alright bass sound turns voice into bass so this is what it sounds like ah uh, yeah that's interesting isn't it and so that's that's my bass um and then oh, you don't have to get everything that I have got here but uh, the wacka 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 just does this um um, okay, so it's not doing oh. wacka 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 wacka. Just uh, it's not doing much at the moment because um, I didn't have a time going. So <laughs> kind of gives you wah wah effect, and then I've got uh, this adds reverb. <laughs> yep. So and and that's got eight bars. So I don't want that to do that many bars. Let's just go to two bars. Oops. Yep. Okay, so that's basically the setup. And what other things do I have? Um, what I've got is these this reverb. And or I can just press the reverb really quick, like that, and let it go. And it just adds that l little reverb for a second and hear the reverb tail even though the reverb's off you still hear the tail uh, I find that very very essential in uh, making music because otherwise you, the sound of the reverb turning off is too abrupt so the way I've got that set up is it's uh, an input send so if I go to my mixes and go to A I've got Alteza FAC Hey, I'm Fred. How you going, Fred? Why are you telling me this stuff now? I don't care about that. Let's play. That's what that looks like anyway. So it's a really good sounding reverb. One of the best I find. Just for ambient stuff. And then the delay is this um, stratosphere. And I've also got a... So that's dub station is the delay, and it's also got a bit of a cheeky stratosphere reverb over it. That's another actually quite a good reverb too. Very good for ambient. So, um, what else? What else? I got a widener, widener, stereo widener, widener, because I'm hungry, and that's good for uh, that. That's what that um, hi hat. <laughs> It adds that and then it turns it off at the end too. So um, I just find it good for certain sounds. So um, what else is there to say? So put on D. What's C got? That's that. D is nothing. I could even delete D. 
and then this is sending MIDI to another app for another purpose so don't worry about that so if I wanted to create a quick beat this is what's oh, harmony hold hold that must be voice um, that one there what's that called voice rack effects TC Helicon so I could just quickly add a, a quick, quick harmony yeah. and I mute input that button there so I could go ah. so it'd be like oops Just a cool stutter effect. Yeah, I like that tune. clear all button and then you can just do it all again so um, I probably could have gone into much more detail how I set everything up but I think it's pretty straightforward if you've got any questions or you just want to have a chat leave a comment below and uh, thanks for watching the video I'll see you in the next one push